Hello friends and welcome to this lesson and this lesson is in is a second to a lesson I've already recorded and if you've not watched that lesson yet I would entreat you to go and watch that lesson and I'll be putting the link in my comment section and I want you to go and check up on that and then let's continue all right so today's lesson we are talking about rotations rotations we said we'd have to look at three things we'd have to look at the direction we'd have, we'd have to look at the origin or the center of the center of rotation and we'd also have to look at the angle of rotation these three elements are very key so like we said quick recap the movement of the clock moves like this 12 1 2 3 4 now that clockwise move like this anti-clockwise so those are the two things and the angles and the angles from we'll be looking at angle 90 angle 180 angle 270 clockwise and anti-clockwise and i would want to use a very conceptual way so that you don't have to memorize this usually students go to exams and then just when they get there they forget how to plot their coordinates because they are forgotten their rules of rotation only whether to plot it and it's going to be negative or positive sometimes it could be confusing but if you can have a very uh, conceptual way so that at any exam or at anywhere you find yourself you could just easily generate your own rules and it makes your work very easy so you be need you need this i have this as my y and x coordinates and i have the part here this is going to be this is a positive axis a negative positive axis and then downwards negative and then to the left it's also negative then we have our first part we have to watch carefully so we have an object here if we have an object here it's going to just be so we have x and then y so x so basically x and then the y coordinate so this x also is so this horizontal and then this part is the vertical Horiz vertical and then horizontal so vertical horizontal vertical and then horizontal so when we have in angle 90 so all your coordinates are going to follow this pattern horizontal first so horizontal and then the y vertical so if i'm plotting from the origin without the first point of the of my object i'm just going to have so x maps to y horizontal x vertical y now what if i move it at an angle of 90 so I'm landing this way my horizontal now becomes positive y and then my vertical becomes negative x so horizontal positive y vertical negative x so I just rotate this 0 90 90 means moving it once so 90 clockwise so clockwise okay so let's get something here so 90 clockwise so let's go again i have positive y as my vertical as my horizontal then negative x so x y will be giving me positive y and then negative x we know that angle 180 is moving twice so 90 180 so i move here i move once i have y and x i move twice when i move twice that's when i reach 180 so i have positive sorry negative x horizontal versus vertical horizontal vertical 
So my horizontal is negative x, and my vertical is what? Negative y. So that's 180. So 180 clockwise. So x and then y gives me negative x, negative y. So 180 is moving it two times. So start from here. This is 90 clockwise. Horizontal y, vertical, negative x. 180. Horizontal negative x, vertical negative y. Now 270, we go like this. Horizontal negative y, vertical x. So horizontal negative y, vertical positive x. So x and then y. So let's see. So 270. So 270 clockwise. And the last one, obviously, is 360. You realize that we arrive at the same point. So we we'll start from here. X, horizontal, vertical, X, Y. Horizontal, vertical, vertical, Y, negative X. 90. 180, horizontal, vertical. Negative X, negative Y. 270, horizontal, vertical, negative y and then x. So 360 weighs back to zero, horizontal, vertical. So x and then y. So 360, so x and then y, back to x and y. So from, we still begin from the same place. All right, we still begin from the same place, so simple. Now, Let's try for the other coordinates as well. That would be anti-clockwise. So anti-clockwise. What should we expect? We would use the same idea as well. So let's start from... So let's see. So X and Y. So x, y is horizontal versus vertical. So 90 anti-clockwise. One eighty anti-clockwise. Two seventy anti-clockwise and then 360 anti-clockwise okay having seen this so we have x y so this is the first origin moves 90 it's moving one time horizontal negative y vertical x horizontal so i have x and y x y x y X, Y. So X and Y, negative Y, negative Y, and then X, horizontal, vertical. So negative Y, and then X. Let's see 180. So 180 is moving it two times. So 90, 180. So horizontal, negative X, vertical, negative Y. Negative X, negative Y. Then 270 is going to be 90, 180, and then 270. So 270 horizontal, we have y and negative x. y and negative x. y and negative x. Then finally, back to its origin, 360, x, horizontal, x, vertical, y. X and then Y. Now, having observed this, so you would have to practice. The more you practice, the more you can be more, the more you can be frequent with how to do the movement. So it's, it's just a very simple thing, trust me. Okay, we could see 
some familiarity amongst them, you realize that, first of all, 180 clockwise is the same as 180 anticlockwise. So, so 180 clockwise is equal to 180 anticlockwise. And we can also notice this, 90 anticlockwise is the same as 270 clockwise. So 270 clockwise is equal to, 270 clockwise is the same as 90 anticlockwise. The third one is 90, um, uh, I think 90 clockwise and then 270 anticlockwise. So 90 clockwise is the same as 270 anti clockwise and then 360 is the same as its beginning okay so thank you very much for being a part of this lesson i'm happy to see you like and subscribe as i load more videos for you as to prepare for exams thank you and have a nice day bye